Wait a minute. Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? Was the jellyfish header intentional? Absolutely. Where do you like to eat the most? Gyukaku! What's your favorite tea flavor? I like Thai tea. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like lettuce? <laughs> What's your favorite, favorite color? color? Love your content, by the way. Thank you. I like this color. It's really pretty. What's your favorite Halloween movie? I like Halloween Town. When will you create a discordapp.com server? IDK.jpg. Maybe someday. Will you ever do a face reveal? I kind of want to preserve my identity. So that's up in the air, but might be a little personal, but how, how old, old are, are you? you? Sorry if it's a weird question you don't have to answer. I am seven years old. I am almost eight years old. I'm very excited. Same thing about Cali when it's not on fire. Oh, I love fire. I also love it when there's earthquakes. It's my favorite. Do you have a boyfriend? Nope, not interested. Not interested in a girlfriend or a boyfriend or in anything. What to you is a perfect day? Like where do you go? What do you do, etc. I would like a day where I just don't worry about anything and don't have any pressing deadlines. Just staying at home and not having to stress about things. That'd be nice. Will you collab and post it on your channel? Hopefully. I'd love to work with more people. What video making slash editing programs do you use? For video making, I use After Effects and Premiere. For audio, I use Adobe Audition. What is... Oh god, my laptop's gonna die. <laughs> Oh no, wait, no, I have to stop, I need to get my charger! Ah! So my laptop died while I was recording, that's fun! Let us continue where I left off. What is the thing you're most happy with since you started making covers or videos? I think I've gotten a lot better. I think I've improved since I've started, and that's a plus for me. Have you beaten Celeste chapter nine? Oh, I was so wrong, I was so wrong! <laughs> I was so wrong! Have you decided what your next cover will be? Maybe. Ever thought of making original music? I have. Was it surprising that you made it this far on YouTube? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Every time I post something and people actually watch it, I get surprised. <laughs> How did you become such a big creator? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm really, really lucky that the right people saw my stuff and they were nice enough to support me, which allowed other people to find me. Favorite cover you have done? Actually, it's probably this one from Twitter. I, I found the song on YouTube, and then in 20 minutes, I learned it, I recorded it, and I mixed it. So I'm really proud of it. Do you plan on making a Shark Bites cover? Hacker, please, I need to be blessed with it. I'm planning on it. Why are your streams always so late in the day? Because that's the time that I'm free. And it's not even the daytime. It's more like nighttime. What's your favorite weapon? Try flasher! Oh, I love the try flasher! Do you like the sloshing machine? It's okay. But it's not a try slosher! Favorite game that isn't Splatoon or Splatoon 2. Right now it's Celeste. What's a weapon you'd like to play but could never get the hang of? Chargers. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not good at chargers, and I really want to use chargers, but every time I try to use chargers, I panic, and I'm really bad at it, and I fail my team, and it's terrible. I'm so sad. Would you rather play 1v4 turf war against a team full of dynamo rollers or a team full of blob lobbers? Blob lobbers, because I would destroy all of them. Dynamos have more inking power, I think, so it would be easier for them to win. Do you plan to stream a variety of games like VM? I already do on my Twitch channel. I stream Splatoon and Celeste right now, but I want to branch out into more indie games. Are you planning to major in music or do you have another career path in mind? I have no plans on going to college. I'm working to be a voice actor. What is your main goal at the moment? Can be to do with anything. I want to get better at voice acting and I want to be able to do more work. If you had never pursued a career in voice acting, what do you think you'd be doing now? Probably something with programming or something along the lines of audio editing. I would definitely still be working with audio. Where do you see your voice acting career going in the next five years? Hopefully better than it is now. <laughs> I want to be getting more consistent work than I do now. I want to connect with more studios and I want to be able to show off the things that I do rather than having to wait for things to be announced like I do now most of the time. Does your voice get deeper when you're sick or is it squeaky but crackling? Sorry if I sound rude, but I really want to know. I can play a recording of when I was sick before. I'm not sure what what, what I was just trying to do. What? I was thinking of like an old lady, like a little old lady. Would you like some cookies, grandson? I bet. <laughs> I, I bake some, I, I bake some cookies for you. 
Maybe that'll answer your question. Why, Why did you insert voice chat on voice chat? Why did you decide to post comments with some fire and pass or voice chat? It's probably best for me to address all of these at the same time, since they all are pretty connected to each other. So for me, music has always been present in my life ever since I was young. So it's kind of an inevitability that I got into singing. Uh, I was part of my school's choir, which was a pretty good start for me. And I did take vocal lessons from a few teachers, but I'm also self-taught in a lot of aspects. I haven't had lessons for years. I got into anime and video game music, and I started posting some covers on a channel in about 2014. But I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> uh, listening back to them, I can definitely tell that I've improved a lot since then. I was into theater and acting as well in school. Uh, I took workshops at different colleges, playhouses, and even a casting agency before getting into voice acting in 2012. I started working professionally in 2016 and I still take workshops now. I don't know if I have any tips that can be helpful for singing, but for voice acting, the best advice that I can give anyone is to learn how to act before anything else. It's called voice acting for a reason. You might be able to do a bunch of funny voices or you might even have a really nice sounding voice, but you need to be able to portray a wide range of emotions in order to do anything. I just know that's something a lot of people forget when getting into it. <laughs> just learn to act better and you'll be fine. You don't need to have a huge range if you're able to act well. Acting is the most important aspect. What is something you wish you could experience for the first time again? The moment I I got an email that I was cast in a show. That moment was so emotional for me. I would just love to experience that again. And just the excitement and like the feeling of, man, I'm finally doing something right. That just that feeling, I would, I would love to have that again. Are you a professional musician or music student or is singing slash music a hobby of yours? I'm not a professional musician. Everything I do is mostly for fun. If you had a superpower, what would it be? The power to speak all languages? I think that'd be pretty cool. I'd love to be able to communicate with everybody easily. Plus it would make voice acting easier. I'd have more uh, <laughs> languages at my disposal. <laughs> Why do you sound so much like a baby? I, I don't know, it's not my fault. What kind of questions are your favorite ones? I like interesting questions that I haven't heard before. Something interesting and different is always more exciting. Something that'll probably make me think a little bit more. What's the best Pop-Tart flavor? Probably Wild Berry. That's the one I like the most. If you had a podcast, what would you call it? I don't think it would have a name. I think you would just subscribe to it and then randomly a text file would show up on your desktop with a link to a website where you can download the podcast. Yeah, that sounds about right. Is cereal a soup? Absolutely. Heart? <gasps> Heart emoji! How many Eggo waffles is too many Eggo waffles? You can never have too many Eggo waffles. Have you ever been shocked by electricity even if it was a small one? Yes. Why? <laughs> have you ever been close to a near disaster? Mm. At one point, one of my external hard drives that I put all of my projects on stopped working and it wouldn't recognize uh, that there were any files on the hard drive, which was horrifying. <laughs> But I was lucky because I found a program that helped me get them back. But I was freaking out for a while because uh, I tried several programs and they didn't work, which was scaring me. Have you ever gotten stuck on something in a public place like a fence or tree? If you have, how did you get out? Did you get out? No, I'm stuck in a tree right now. Please help me. What color is your toothbrush? It's green. I have a green toothbrush. Any characters you want for Smash Bros? I want a female indie game representative. I think that'd be cool. Favorite anime? I don't know if I really have a favorite, but I really like Mob Psycho 100 and also A Place Further Than the Universe. Those are two shows that I really enjoyed. How are you? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm okay. I hope you're all having a good time listening to these questions. Is there something specific about Japanese game soundtracks that draws you to them? I don't think it's just a Japanese game soundtrack thing, but a game soundtrack thing in general. Uh, game soundtracks are more likely to be cinematic, uh, made to follow a story with highs and lows, just kind of giving it a more dynamic range of emotions that can exist in one big soundtrack. 
I'm also biased towards pretty music, so <laughs> that probably helps. <laughs> what is your first memory of playing video games? We would play Super Mario Kart on my grandma's SNES in her basement whenever we visited her house. I would sit on the carpet in front of the TV with the controller and I remember like the little box that her TV sat on and how like one of the springs didn't really work on it. It was a good time. Are you short? Do people mistake your age when they hear you or are confused when you do? Are you tall or small? I'm pretty average height. I'm like 5'3"-ish. But I was in a nail salon once and one of the ladies asked my age and she guessed that I was like 12. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you were an anime villain, what would be your purpose? As in, what reason would you have to be a villain? See, I don't think I would be a villain. I think I would just be an information gatherer. Like somebody who would just, like, research things, locations of people. Like an independent contractor for both heroes and villains. I'm like a completely neutral party. That's what I think I would be. <laughs> I don't see myself as a villain. Opinion on cats? I love them! I love cats! I love cats so much. Cats are the best. Why are you named Octoling Hacker? Because I'm hacking into your computer right now! Do you prefer to write in print or cursive? Print. I have trouble reading cursive sometimes, so the cleaner my handwriting can be, the better, probably. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I consider myself to be an introvert. Do you speak any other languages other than English? I know some American Sign Language. I can read and understand some Japanese. I, I can read some Hangul. I know bits and pieces of, like, certain languages. Like simple, easy peasy things, but I'm not fully fluent in another language. Do you like Slime Rancher? If so, what is your favorite slime? I haven't played Slime Rancher personally, but the game looks really, really cute. And like, I, I know there's like tabby slime that are like cats. Those are really cute. But also I heard that there's like a glitch slime, but they only exist in like one place in the game. So um, I would want to live in wherever that was and I would want to curate a bunch of glitch slime and love them because they deserve it. Are there any people you look up to? Oh, absolutely. I look up to all of my friends because they're all incredibly talented people and I love them very much. Um, but it can be hard to name just one or just a few because there's so many people I've been inspired by. It's like not even fair to try to give all the credit to one person. <laughs> That was a lot more questions than I thought I would get. I'm kind of legitimately shocked by the response I get by people sometimes when I ask for things. It's just, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I have this platform that I can share my stuff with. On, with, I can put my things. I, I'm so happy. I'm grateful. <laughs> I might be doing another one of these in the future. I'm not really sure yet though. I did this on Twitter over the span of like two hours. <laughs> So we'll see if I ever do one again in the future. We'll see. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you for giving it a shot. I appreciate it a lot.